Hello, this is my video for war walking. Okay, so the first part is you need to set up your GPS. So you can use the GPS daemon uh, and tell it whatever your GPS receiver that you've attached to the system is. You can then check your GPS to make sure it's functioning. And you can see here that we're receiving satellite data. We have a latitude and longitude. So that's all working fine. Then the next step is for Kismet, you need to edit the configuration files. Um, so you can go in here. Uh, really the only part that you have to edit in here is the GPS settings. So you want to put in um, basically what device you're using, and what port it's on, stuff like that. And once that's in there, Kismet will be able to see the GPS receiver. Okay, I have already killed um, the normal operations of the Wi-Fi adapter, and it's already in promiscuous mode for this demo. But you would normally do that using Airmon NG with check kill to first stop any processes that could interfere with that and then you simply start whatever your wireless adapter is um, and if you don't know what your wireless adapter is you can just do an IF config and you can see your wireless adapter in this case mine is WLAN 0 so now we will start Kismet so doing Kismet, we're telling it to use the wireless LAN 0 and we're using the war drive configuration which basically just takes out a few channels makes it log a little bit faster and easier on your computer so you can hit enter and then you see this data here in the back which is just the back end not super helpful but it does have a nice web UI now which you can go to and you're presented with a whole bunch of data. First off, we have our GPS coordinates up here. Uh, here we have a list of all the MAC addresses and it can be SSID depending on what information is available for the particular ones. If you just want to see SSIDs, you can just go here. Um, but the nice part is it lists the MAC, the SSID, what type of encryption it has. Uh, it also captures all the packet data at the same time, so you can go back and review this at your leisure with Wireshark or TCP dump, however you want to look at it. Um, and it has all kinds of built-in converters to get to that data. Uh, other interesting features it has, um, you can actually see down here, this is what the live channels that it's scanning right now are, like so here for the 2.4 gigahertz, and now it's changing from this channel over to this channel, etc. Uh, and you can also see a historical view of this data over time where each color represents a different channel that people are operating on. So you can see a lot of people are kind of using the same channels here. You can see like a lot of blue, a lot of red, a lot of orange. Um, so there are pretty common channels that people are using in the, um, in the building overall. And what else did I want to show you about Kismet? That's pretty much the user interface. All the interesting stuff kind of happens on the back end with your database. This is just to give you something to look at. So uh, you can then exit this and exit this. And if you want to see the data that you have, you can use SQLite browser and then you can go in and you can open your database files it does store them in a format called kismet so you have to change how you look for them so you can open the kismet file and in here it gives you a nice um, way to view all the data so you can have just the alerts which we don't really care about uh, what we're interested in is the devices. So you can see here, here it has its MAC address, here it has its longitude and latitude, um, and they also have some additional 
information in here that you can kind of go out to see and it tells you what kind it is, whether it's a Wi-Fi client or a Wi-Fi access point, stuff like that. Uh, and you can also see all the packet data. So you can see in my war drive, war walk, I captured almost 520,000 packets. Um, and number of devices for that was 3,400 and change. Um, so and this was just in 30 minutes walking around my building. So you can compile quite a bit of data. Um, so now, once you have this data, you identify which Wi-Fi routers are using poor encryption or they're in convenient neighborhoods for you to park outside or whatever you want to do. You can then crack that Wi-Fi and then use that person's internet and make it look like whatever you're doing is coming from their house and then you could just leave and move on to the next station. It's a pretty safe way to uh, mask what you're doing.